Good morning, folks. So this is day one. Let's start with some measurements. Just nice and relaxed, unpumped. About 11 and a half. About 11 and a quarter. All right. Flexed. I think that's the best way to do it. Left arm, right arm. Hang test, let's do it. Now, I haven't really practiced this since the hang challenge video. If you guys wanna check that out, go check that one out. Hang for a thousand seconds a day. I'm a little nervous to see where I'm at, but hopefully using the fat grips, we'll be able to make some improvements in one week. We'll see. I think I got around 94 seconds. Now I'm gonna test grip strength with some of these crushers right here, okay? Captains of Crush. All right, we'll start with the weakest one, the Sport, the S. We'll do right hand first. I know I can get that. Left hand, ready? Okay. Now we will move on to the .5. Ooh, yeah. Close, okay, .5 is closed. So this is the one, right arm, ready? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I couldn't do that. Wow, that is... Oh my gosh. Can't even do a 1. I swear I did the 1.5 the other day, so I don't know what's going on. Alright, 1.5, ready? There it is. Oh, okay, so I just barely closed the 1.5 with my right hand, but I couldn't close it with my left hand. But the 1, I couldn't... I couldn't close with either. This one seems a little bit harder than the 1.5, you know? I don't know. So I guess we should try the two because the pattern is uh, weird. Ready? Okay, no, that's actually probably real too. Yeah, let's see if we can get these forearms to grow, that grip strength to go up, be able to bust 100 seconds out on the pull-up bar of hanging, and close the 1.5 on both hands and even the one too because I don't know what's going on there. They might be flip-flopped or something, but the one seems harder than the 1.5. So let's open our tool we're gonna be using for the week, requested by you guys. Fat Grips, the Pro Series. So they have the Fat Grips one, which have a 4.45 centimeter diameter, the Pro, which have a 5.72 centimeter diameter, and then the uh, Extreme, which are 6.99 centimeter diameter. These are the pro in the middle. I figured we just keep it in the middle. But, oh man, that is still pretty wide. So with that being said, to start this week off, I think we're gonna take these to the gym and just do some straight up bro arms. So it's day two, the day after the workout with the fat grips. My fingers are a little sore, forearms are a little sore. Honestly, not as much as I thought they would be yesterday. 
a little creaky. Gonna take this as a rest day. Other than that, I feel good. I don't know, I feel like I might even look pumped in the forearms almost, you know? So we're gonna take the rest of today as a rest day and then I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna do a workout, but this time a body weight workout with the fat grips, all right. myself and use some uh, assistance I think honestly uh. oh. Oh. oh man that is like hitting the forearms I don't know if you guys can see forearms are getting hit even with the assistance I'm only able to knock out what nine it's just so hard to hold on Uh, I'm gonna go for some dead hangs just because. because it doesn't spin as freely but then when it does start to spin it's just there's no hope all right that's that's really hard so far but I'm gonna finish this workout yo even just like decline pull-ups is hard so I feel like I have a pretty nasty like forearm slash arm pump if you can't tell yeah bro that was pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Every portion of this bodyweight workout where I used the fat grips, you know, pull-ups, decline pull-ups, etc. It was almost so hard to hold on that I didn't really get the benefit of training in the zones I was trying to target, such as like the lats, the back, a little bit of the arms. However, I did feel like I got some serious stimulation in the forearms, in the fingers, and like hand strength, right? Like I just had this mad like forearm pump going on right now. So yeah, it was frustrating, I had to break up my sets, and it felt like I was really concentrating on grip. I guess that's the goal of this challenge is to really work on that grip strength and that uh, finger strength, that squeeze strength, and that grip endurance. But if you're just going to be always using these grips, so far what I'm determining is, you know, sometimes you might benefit from, you know, not using them so you can hit other muscle groups and um, build those up, you know, like if I'm trying to target my back. Now another argument would be, well, your grip should be strong enough to support those other groups. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just telling you what I'm observing from my experience, okay? But with that being said, we're trying to get those forearm gains and those grip gains. So let's continue. All right guys, so it is day five. We're headed to the gym. I'm planning on doing a mix of body weight plus weights, uh, messing around with these today. However, holy moly, my grip is even more sore than it was yesterday, like like right here. Like the forearm is just like sickly sore, but we're gonna train anyways and uh, yeah, use these, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right.
pretty challenging because my forearms were already sore. Something that I realized that I kind of was expecting is certain exercises using these fat grips. It's not like it's not like you're really getting any benefit other than challenging the grip in the forearm. So like if I was doing bent over rows or like single arm rows with dumbbells or something, it's like it challenged the forearm so greatly that I wasn't able to really target the back too well because I wasn't able to use the weight I wanted. And then other exercises like the uh, shoulder press, like there just really wasn't any point. It kind of almost made the exercise a little bit more uh, maybe dangerous, I don't know, because it just added this extra like slip point, I guess. Yeah, just it wasn't really challenging my forearms with anything like that, and it kind of uh, like it just made me a little bit sketchy of using any heavier weight. But certain exercises like the reverse curl, holy crap, that killed the top of the forearm, brachioradialis, that area. Like that, I got this like huge pump. I can still feel it. And then just regular curls with the dumbbells or uh, or barbell. Like holy moly, the like, top of the forearm, like no other. But honestly, probably the most crazy best exercise so far is literally the pull up. Doing pull ups with these things, it's like my arms. My forearms, like fingers, hands, thumbs, everything hurts and burns in a good way. So good, burns so good. I feel like I'm getting such a crazy stimulation. I feel like I'm feel like I'm gonna be a rock climber after this. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be a world class rock climber, like next week. You know, obviously not, but like I feel like I'm really targeting that grip. Like yo, look at uh, look at me now. I'm huge. <laughs> get, get that. But it also stunts my growth in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so on the final day, I ended up going to the gym with my friend Logan and we basically did a leg workout. But as an accessory, I added on just some fat grip, reverse curls, five sets of about 12 reps using a very light weight, so lightweight, high reps, and that was pretty much it for the fat grips. However, my arms were still sore that day, and because of that, it was still very hard to knock out those five sets. I felt like it was very challenging, and maybe just a good way to finish off this week using the fat grips. Now, it is 48 hours later, so I guess it's time to see the results. All right, measurements. Left arm looks like a tight 11 and a half. <laughs> So before it was just a normal 11 and a half, but now it's a tight 11 and a half. The right arm looks between 11 and a quarter and 11 and a half. Like it's definitely too tight to close that 11 and a quarter again. So a millimeter or two more than that. Oh man, combining metric with imperial. So I'm gonna try to hit about the same angle here and just look at the visuals. Does it look like my forearms are any bigger? Um, so, I don't know, maybe they do a little bit. There's like a little bit more definition right there. Right here, maybe? I feel like this one got bigger, for sure. I know, still Weenie Hut Jr., all right. It's only a week and I'm an all natty athlete, and I really didn't change up my diet or anything, just the training by adding the fat grips, so maybe a little stimulation, maybe a little size, which is pretty promising, considering it's only a week. But the part that I'm actually most concerned about, most nervous about, is the hang test. I hope I can get 100 seconds, at least, Nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Let's go do it. Just gonna send it home. All right, ready? <laughs> no! So if my math is correct, I was hanging for 98 seconds. It's only four seconds, but those four seconds seemed like an eternity. But now it's time for some brute strength. Let's go through the captains of crush pyramid or whatever you want to call it. See right here at the bottom, it says S for sport. Okay, should be able to close this. Easy, easy. The 0.5 right here. All right. So what I was complaining about earlier, like in the beginning of this video is I have the one and the 1.5 here. The 1.5 is supposed to be harder than the one, but like, look at this. I don't know if they, they like almost appear like the same thickness. Maybe even the one seems thicker. So it's like, I don't know if there was like a mismatch, but I swear the one is the 1.5 and the 1.5 is the one. But for the video, I'm gonna use what it says on the bottom. It says one, I'm gonna use that as the one for this test. Oh, I don't know, it was close though. Oh, I felt like I almost had that on that on the one there. I don't think I felt that click of fully closing the one, but I think I had it more closed than I did last week on the one. 
but I'm gonna use the 1.5 now and see if I can close it on both hands because I was able to close the 1.5 with my right but not with my left last week. Oh, barely closed that. Oh, why you? Dang it, all right. Okay, so I wasn't able to close it with my left hand. I barely hit it with my right, kind of very similar to last week. I felt like I was able to close the one, which I hypothetically think is actually the 1.5. Um, almost, I didn't close it completely, but I think I did better than last week. That's probably the hardest one. And I guess I'll just throw the two on there for fun. Ooh. Eh? Oh, man. yeah, no. So in conclusion, using fat grips for one week, the first thing I wanna make sure you guys understand this was not a paid advertisement by Fat Grips. They did not send these to me. I bought these with my own money. I bought them actually on Amazon. So my honest overall impression and I guess recommendation for myself would be I do like these. I actually do like these. I think they're a good thing to add to the training arsenal, right? I don't think it's necessary to use these for every single workout ever for two reasons first of all there's some workouts where it's like if you use them you just can't get a good grip on the maybe like dumbbells or something you're trying to do like overhead press or something you don't want to lose grip of the of the dumbbell or barbell or whatever first of all an exercise like that you're not even really necessarily challenging your grip and you're just leaving yourself more room for error. I wouldn't necessarily use these on every other exercise as well. When you do use these, it really ups the challenge on the grip, which then makes the stimulation from the exercise all focused towards grip. So while it is working grip, if you are wanting to do an exercise where you really wanted to target back, it might be more beneficial for you to use an easier grip so you can target that back muscle. Now the argument being said is like, well your grip should match everything, yada yada yada. But then my argument back to that is like, should it really though? Because like, what if I made this like super big? I mean, who said my grip at this diameter needs to match every other muscle group strength, you know? Like, what if in nature I found something that was thinner, yada yada yada, and plus this could get bigger, that would be harder. I mean, the optimal diameter that you should have strength all around could be different for everyone, and this one could just be bigger. I'm <laughs> getting a little abstract here, but I know I may have not made the most drastic improvements when it comes to grip strength. However, I did make some improvements, and I do feel like the visuals, like I feel like I have some visual differences in my forearms. And keep in mind, it has only been one week. So when it comes to challenging grip, just doing any grip related exercise, like even just lifting up heavier dumbbells and trying to hold on with these, really challenged the forearm grip and really felt like it was stimulating and like causing me to just try my hardest to hold those dumbbells up. Also doing exercises like the pull-up was extremely challenging. In fact, doing pull-ups with these fat grips was probably by far the most stimulatory movement, stimulatory exercise in all the exercises I did using these. I felt like that helped me work on my grip strength so much and now I kind of wish I would have trained more pull-ups. I really only did pull-ups about one and a half days in there, but I felt like that challenged the grip like none other. One downside was I wasn't able to do as many pull-ups using these. So something I might want to do in the future is use these for like one set and then do one set normally and um, just stagger it, you know, vice versa, or do one day using these, another day not. Now second to that, the second best exercise I found, in my opinion, using these that really I felt like targeted the forearm, not just for strength, grip strength, but also just for size and definition, was not the normal curl, but the reverse curl. I really felt like using these for reverse curls not only challenged my grip strength, like squeezing strength so I could hold onto the bar, but it also really helped my thumb strength as well. Wrapping that thumb around there, something that I normally don't feel like I get a lot of stimulation from that thumb squeeze, doing typical exercises like even, um, you know, wrist curls if I was doing them this way or this way because that thumb is kind of just always resting. Even when I'm doing hanging, you're kind of like not really gripping too hard with the thumb. But when I was doing the reverse curls with these fat grips, I felt like I really had to squeeze that thumb in there and it was just kind of like a whole new experience a along with squeezing the fingers as well and the forearms, like that was by far a very close second to the pull-ups when it comes to probably the most effective exercise using these. Good, durable rubber material, nice quality feel to them. 
I definitely enjoyed these. I definitely enjoyed this challenge. Let me know if there's any other uh, fitness tools you guys think you might want me to use for like a week or something. We could do more of this if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn those notifications on. Stay tuned. More videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.